In this video series, we're going to talk about ways that our small signal model for amplifiers fails. Our small signal model tries to represent amplifiers as linear, um, but at heart they're made of nonlinear devices. Um, so the small signal model has boundaries where it fails to work, um, and we're going to capture those boundaries using the idea of output voltage swing and percent transconductance deviation. We'll also go through a design example that I hope will be useful in your next lab, um, so that you can sort of see an example being constructed uh, and then follow that in the future.